All right, so this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well a Virgo Rising. Our weekly general tarot reading May 25th to uh, May 21st, 2020. And in case um, any of you guys is interested in a private reading, uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase such. So without being, so with that being set aside, let's move to the uh, reading straight away. Uh, the first card which marked the topic of your week Virgo, that is going to be the Two of Cups. And as we can all see, that is of a, a great start here, followed by the next one, which represents the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic. That is going to be the energies of the judgment, followed by uh, the uh, challenges that you will have to uh, overcome throughout the week. That is going to be the challenge of the Magician card. Moving next, we do have the gifts and the, oh my God, the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy. We do have the Lovers, followed by uh, the impression that you're going to leave into the people around. That will be the five of uh, wands. And the last one, which is the guidance that Tarot is offering, we do have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So, um, right off the back here, uh, those cards really talking about some sort of rekindling, reconciliation, a revival of a partnership, friendship maybe a resurrection a resurrection of an old relationship and these, these are the potencies okay you get to decide before i get into my comments and see you know i don't want that person back that is up to you to decide you're right, all right those cards are just pointing what are going to be the potentials what are the tendencies you get to choose do you want that person back or not okay so uh, that being said, uh, moving to the first couple of cards, we do have the Judgment, which is the Energies, and then the Two of Cups, which is the very topic of the week itself. So, uh, Judgment as the Energies. These are the Energies of the Wake Up Call, Union and Reunion, and where the things are really fitting together, in the sense of that the pieces of the puzzles are snapping into their accurate place. So uh, that doesn't have to really refer to romantic relationship, although that is the main topic of the week here. Okay, that's uh, if you are looking for love, you ain't gonna find a better week to find one. Okay, and that love is gonna come from already existing place out there. So it's uh, ex boyfriend or a person that things didn't really work out back in the days for one or another reason. Here, the judgment points that while you do have a different kind of options available around, okay, uh, this week those ener energies that are surrounding your 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 you and the week itself are gonna make you aware that there is another option that you have not considered up until now. It was sitting there, all right, but you have not considered it up until now, and as the week progresses, that option becomes more and more plausible because it's it simply it's better than anything else you're trying to convince yourself that it is better than this one and um, pretty much uh, with uh, with those energies moving forward the um, week itself here with two of Pen with two of cups I'm sorry not two of pentacles but two of cups uh, as a situation predispose for a lot of contacts in a sense of that's um, can I say it? Well, pretty much predispose uh, for a, a lovely experience in a sense of that, you know, you are going to, if you decide to, you know, you can make a uh, connection out of love with someone. Or if that's about your uh, career, everybody would love you into your career. In general, in, in generally speaking, nobody is going to give you a hard time in there. But the thing with those cards is that just there is no other way to say it here, guys. It is that... Um, you're going to have an opportunity to to experience a hell of a lot, right? And it will be a shame if you miss this one. And like I said, it is most likely with somebody that you already know, um, somebody that either tried to make an advance towards you and you have denied them. You tried to make an advance toward them, they have denied you. 
or it could be an, an ex-lover, ex-boyfriend, ex-husband or a wife, ex-girlfriend, etc, etc. But this time around, because we do have judgment into the energy uh, position, it will be different, okay? Because you and them as well have learned your lessons and that will be seen into the third card here, which is the magician. And uh, as the challenges that you and that person as well need to overcome here, uh, it does speak for accepting each other for what you truly are. So that is the prime lesson that you are to learn and that you have learned. And it is um, the question here, can you apply that lesson into the current situation? And um, and pretty much the magician here points it is that uh, things did not work out back in the days in a sense of that you know either the relationship broke or someone someone of you have been denied because um we had you had a mismatching of uh, if you will sovereignty in other words that uh, you or that person thought that they cannot live with somebody like you or you could have not lived with somebody like them uh, so you have not accepted each other for what you really are and you could not make a compromise out there Okay, you could not fit the the cumulative life with uh, with each other And that is something that you are to overcome here throughout the week If you decide to go down that road that you will be able to through negotiations through profound conversations with one another and as well through determination and it's um, uh, what was the word? Implementing, I will use that word. So implementing your personal sovereignty in it uh, to actually get a, or to reach a common ground, meaning that, you know, while you are different, you know, those, uh, those differences should not be a prerequisite for you to drift apart. Just on the contrary, uh, those differences are only going to complement each other's differences and therefore you will simply become better. Now that is different from what the differences of the lover's card speak, okay? But luckily for you, we do have that as a gifts and blessings. And this is just a continuation. It's like in an evolution into the um, relationship that you can establish regardless is it going to be a business relationship or a love, le or love relationship throughout this week. And... Uh, uh, that resides into the gifts and the blessings here and that will be the gifts and the blessing of the lovers card so let's start from a uh, a small things that the lovers gifts you and blessed you more uh, practical things so first of all the gifts of and the blessings of the lovers is a resolution of many issues and through that the, through these resolutions pretty much your career environment and your relationship environment is going to be dappled with harmony okay but as this being set aside oh one more practical uh gift it is that whatever you decide it will be the right thing for you so throughout this week there will be no right or wrong decision for you to make it is just you know whatever you make you have to go go along with it but it will uh has its pros and cons for you so it will be rather a always balanced decision for you to make but let's now address the elephant in the room and we talked about differences with the magician you know for accepting each other for what you truly are here the lovers compliments that saying that those differences are simply going to make you special to one another and uh, while you know you and that person are approaching life from a, a very different angle how can i say mm, that will um that will make you all, uh, if you allow those differences to um, to pretty much become a part of your life, well, it's that, that's very difficult to translate, to become a part of your life, uh, your life will become wider, okay? So you're gonna learn you, you know, many new things and you are going to start experiencing, uh, having a pleasant experiences in, in many different areas as well. And pretty much uh, instead of, you know, knocking each other, you, you are going to become one whole. And uh, with the lovers, that is very common that everything that you are, your partner isn't, and everything that your partner is, you aren't. So therefore you get to complement each other in whatever you are lacking. And that leads us to the next card, which is the impression that you are leaving into the people around, and that will be the impression of the five of us, of the five of wands. So to, that goes a little bit away from the main main topic here. 
uh, but uh, I don't know if it goes really uh, sideways from the main topic because the, the the main impression that you're gonna leave into the, that you're going to incorporate into the people around it is that you can revive something that that is with the five that is the biggest property of the five of ones that something that is almost dead you know one is able to revive it and to be successful in it that's why with this card it is highly likely that if there is for example something into your career or project into your career that is almost falling into ruin you are to be assigned on the lead of the project with the final attempt that project to be saved or a task that being said here with the five of ones uh, people are pretty much going to see you as a, a person who is willing to give another go and this time around the person who is determined to make it uh, to make it work and that being said um with with this card people are not going to have any biased expectations but whatever happens happens in the sense of that the outcome can be can be anybody's guess and for that reason you are going to be given a, a chances you know chances to make to revive a relationship for example or to make a new partnership or pretty much to have a second goal on a certain project or, or on a certain task into your career and etc etc but uh, one is certain here i want to emphasize on that it is that uh, you know um the approach that happens throughout this week from that individual that had a that took a part of your life definitely worth considering exploring and that is defined by the last card which is the very guidance and that is the guidance of the ten of pentacles which points to a few things here whatever investments especially in terms of material and emotional investments are going to be regained what i mean is that you invest love you get you get love back okay you invest money you get money back you invest effort you get money back you invest time you make your time worth your while so any investment you do throughout the week it's going to worth your while another thing it is that um, with this card you are very likely to go out of dependency or it is highly advisable from yourself to go out of dependency of certain things but under dependency i mean rules okay so whenever that partnership is to be situated that partnership should serve uh, or should be how can i say should be um beneficial for both of you and not just for either one of you so you both of you have the opportunity here to have it either way or each other's way and therefore that leads you out of dependency to follow someone's way because your way and their way while they are different they will work toward the same goal and the final thing which is the biggest thing here with the ten of pentacles it is that the card guides you or gu the guidance card it is that somebody that's betrayed your trust back in the days is gonna come back to have a uh, a correctional exam or rather like a um, a second goal into it and it's highly advisable for you to give the man or the woman a chance because they have learned their lesson but did you learn yours it is the question here so that being said this was your weekly general tower reading Virgo uh, hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully you liked it uh, hopefully you are gonna make the right move here and uh, you will try to explore the very least you know whatever cooperation is presented to you and uh, in case you are interested in a private reading uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're gonna find a link to my website from which you can purchase such and uh, that being said we may see each other around until then bye